Many of us choose to install Android applications from sources like GitHub, APK Mirror, SourceForge, GitLab, and others. The downside to this is that it can be difficult to know when one of these apps has received a new update unless the application itself has a built-in updater. Since this is quite rare, I want to show you an application called Obtainium that can help keep these types of apps up to date. The Google Play Store is great at keeping your applications up to date, but many of us choose to install an app from another source. And unless you're willing to visit these sites on a daily basis, you could be missing out on a new update that was just released. Thankfully, there's an application called Obtainium that once set up will tell you when there's a new update available and you can download and install the new update directly from within the app. Obtainium can be downloaded via GitHub as well as Izzy on Droid. And once installed, you will be asked to grant the app access to send you notifications. You can choose to decline this, but allowing it is a good way of being notified when an update has been made available. Now, the only downside that I found with this application is that it needs to be set up manually. As of right now, we have to manually add the URL of the project so that Obtainium knows when there is a new update for you. The process is easy to complete, but setting this up manually can take a while if you have a lot of apps installed from outside of the Google Play Store. So let's use the PCAP Droid application as an example here. Right now I have version 1.6.0 installed, but we can see here that we have version 1.6.1 is an update that is available. So we can add this to Obtainium by taking the URL of the project page, going into the Obtainium app, Tapping on the Add App tab at the bottom and then pasting that URL into the top field here. There are some options whenever we add an app, such as the ability to include pre-releases, the ability to fall back to older releases, we can filter the release titles by the regular expression. We can choose to only track the updates. And then we have the version detection option, which by default is set to standard, but we could use release date as the version or no version detection, which can help if you are using a custom URL instead of a well-known source. So once we have the URL here, we can tap the add button next to it. And if you have an update available, it's going to tell you which version you have installed and what the latest version is. We can choose to update it from here, or we can go back to the apps tab and see the update is available here. There is another option for adding apps. We can actually do a search for the app name and it will search its limited number of sources to see if it can find an application that matches that name. That way you don't have to go in and manually copy and paste all of the URLs, assuming the application 
is able to be found in one of its limited source pools. So again, when Obtanium notices that an update is available, we can tap that button to immediately begin downloading it and then update it directly from within Obtanium. So let's take a look at some of the other features here. We can import or export the list of apps that are set up within Obtanium, which can really help make the process of setting it up on multiple devices more convenient. Within the settings tab, we can see that there are some theming options available. And we can change the sorting options as well. There's a way to show the source website in App View. And by default, Obtanium will pin the updates to the top of the apps list, but this can be disabled if you'd like. We can choose to group them up by categories which is another handy feature to help improve how your stuff is organized. And lastly, we have the ability to add your personal GitHub access token, which will grant you a rate limit increase for that source. So if you end up adding a lot of apps within the GitHub source, then you will find this to be very useful and we can tap the About GitHub PATs there so that you can quickly get your access token. Obtanium is a great way to keep your applications updated even if you have downloaded them from outside the Google Play Store. The app currently supports GitHub, GitLab, Codeberg, FDroid, Izzy on Droid, Mulvad, Signal, SourceForge, APK Mirror, Steam, Telegram, VLC, Neutron Code, and it even supports HTML fallback where you can enter sources that have not been officially added. The web page just needs to include links to the APK files so that the updates can be detected properly. I highly recommend that you check out the Obtanium application. If you have at least one app installed from one of those sources, it's free, open source, and can help keep your stuff up to date, which is very convenient if you download apps from outside of the Google Play Store. You can find it on GitHub, as well as Izzy on Droid, and I'll be including the link to the GitHub project page down in the video description below.